This is a special, special treat. I just thought of this game about 30 minutes ago, and I can't believe I didn't think about this game earlier, so... This is Mad Max. Uh, for people that don't know, Mad Max is a an old film series. I think it came out in the late 70s. Yeah, late 70s, early 80s. The films are amazing. They are highly recommended. There's also a new one that just came out, uh, I think in 2015 or something like that. All the films are amazing. The lore is amazing. Um, and the video game adaptation is no different. It exceeds all expectations. It's just an amazing masterpiece of a video game. You can't say that for a lot of uh, movie-based video games. This one is incredible. Um, it's going to be a long one. I'm going to do definitely do a type of a part series, I think. It's an open world kind of craft survival game. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a long time to surpass through the story and beat it entirely. So it has to be done in parts. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. But this game is incredible. I think everybody's going to love this one. So let's just jump right into it. such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank.
somebody tell me an answer if you can I want someone to tell me what is the soul of a man <laughs> I'm going to ask a question Answer if you can Will anyone here tell me What is the soul of a man for another brawl This setback would not stop him He would have his peace Even if it meant another war And war was coming because he had created a mortal enemy. Good so there's a lot of good um there's a lot of good scenes in this game. I'm not going to talk through any of the scenes. I might do a little bit of talking during the game just to kind of explain what's going on. Uh, most everything is obviously explained through the actual films of Mad Max. Everyone knows who Max is. led me right so far gotta find it so basically what the story of Max is just in the simplest form um, in the films in the first movie he's a police officer he does like highway patrol um, he's known for being the best driver and there's biker gangs that were ravaging the lands he, he basically is the one who uh, stands against them and tries to take them out um, in the next movie, it jumps straight to more of an apocalypse. Um, it's not explained why or how the apocalypse started until, I think, even until the third movie. But um, basically what happened is, so he lives in Australia, and the world goes to total ruins. And everyone who's a survivor is fighting over water, gasoline, to keep cars moving. They're raiders, pillagers, and there's really no care for life at all. And that's the simplest form. I think the rest, the game will just explain it as it goes. Gently. What? The? No, no. Uh, for eating. That's you. Oh, was a life inside. The other gives birth. So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice. Please, the don't kill. Chum bucket. Please. Hey. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. Yeah. I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'd be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. And Chumbucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the parts. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. <laughs> So they have a little description oh, bios. I can make you become steel real, my angel. I can build your corpus and ignite your sacred fuel. True, uh, but only the warrior saint can drive you. Yeah, that is why you send him my way. So you can read here, Chumbucket is a bizarre wasteland mechanic who resides in the Great White region. 
He crosses paths with Max when he spies him in his long lookers, which is like his binoculars. While scavenging for engine parts, he sees the warrior Max fight Scabber, Scrotus, and his war boys, and he decides that Max has been sent to him for a purpose. Chum Bucket's background is unclear. He stems from Gastown originally, but was cast out despite his extraordinary skills as a Blackfinger mechanic. He has lived alone in the wasteland for a long time, sometimes trading with characters like G and Gutgash. His garage is located inside an old gutted ship where he began building a vehicle. Chum Bucket believes himself to be a prophet of his own bizarre automotive mechanical based religion. He claims to worship the deity he calls the Angel Combustion as well as others. Oh, sorry, other lesser deities with similar themes. He believes that he has been chosen to create this ultimate vehicle, the Magnum Opus, with the help of Max, whom he calls his warrior saint, and who he believes was sent to him by the Angel Combustion. Jim Bucket's fervent religious goals and Max's need to build a new car coincide, and together they decide to build the Magnum Opus. He's an excellent character. <laughs> Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy, but then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. Uh, but before you go, grab some grits, Saint. You must be running on fumes. <laughs> So I don't know if you've seen earlier, the water, when you drink water, it acts as uh, health. Um, the water is scarce, but you fill up your canteen and then you always have a backup storage of basically a health item. Oh, we got dead man. Anything for me? Ammo. Oh, no wire. I don't want to jump ahead, so there was a bio there. That guy was called a war pub. In the simplest form, these guys are just like grunts that are sent out to fight for their leaders and they're um, basically servants of Gastown. Um, they're the types of people who, you know, will be driving the cars or, or you know, standing around uh, camps and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot of war pups in this game. So, it says location 100% looted. All throughout this game, there's going to be like checkpoints. Or, I want to say checkpoints, like little mini camps. Um, each camp is going to have a specific number of scrap metal. And scrap metal basically is like a currency in the game. Um, you use it to improve Max's um, his body armor, his gear. Um, you also use it to upgrade your vehicle. I don't want to get too much into that, but each each little place is going to have uh, loot items.
And like I said earlier, this game is very, very massive. I'm going to show the map whenever we get out to a safe spot. It's a big game. No, not yet. You are not ready. Wait! It's a really big game, it's going to take a lot of time to complete, but I'm just going to do these in part series. I'm going to probably do an hour to an hour and a half each video because it is a very, very big game. Oh, you know, I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! <laughs> My buggy's just over here. Follow me! Come, 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 come! This way! Easy, dog. Easy. Grab it up and go, Saint. The buggy's humble, but she can haul. The sooner I get my car back, the sooner I'll be on my way. Woo! Amen. Huh? May we arrive in time to save your black on black from slaughter. These barbarians love to chop. Yes, from that looky look point, we may be able to spot your car. We can see the camp from up there, without risk of detection. Over here! Over! Come look! Yeah, see, this is where the thick brows squat and cut. Butchers, in for the nose. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, look, there. This cabra Scrotus is the king. Yeah, he was a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, himself. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I, I don't see the land we burn. I'm getting my car back. Wait, wait, please, please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? How tough, how fast? Very. Faster than fear. Tougher than an iguana's gonads. You mustn't be seen. I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long! So that's where he stays. Chum Bucket lives in that giant shipwreck. Yeah, good combo. Perfect place to build a car. Come, come, Saint! Yes! I have much to show you. What is this place? You are in the outer graves. Over there is the great walk. So here they're just going to explain the area. Uh, it's a little bit different because uh, the movies aren't really based off this. So this is where the game kind of has its own flavor. <laughs> so this area is just called the outer graves. It's the lowest part of the great white still a part of an old dried out seabed. This is, as many would agree, as low as you can get. And Chum Bucket sinks in his ear. Ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but we are at the bottom. It doesn't get any lower than this. Behold! 
Come and see yourself. Huh? A dream. A hallucination become truth. The angel made steel. By the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge one, blessed be. Huh? There she lies, the magnum opus. He's so funny. I love Jim Bucket. There she is. You've seen her car? It's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Look! See? Here. Divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith. Modded and made to measure. You want some of that old time religion, huh? Got a classic whammy turbo high dog, huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested, aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, and springs, and shocks, and links too. It's gonna be ice soon, there's nothing less. Yes, we will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. <laughs> yes! Come, no time like the present. Come on, say! We must go. So that's your car, or at least the origins of your car. He calls it the Magnum Opus. We will liberate her body from a place sad and... Just to show the description, I just want to... Because it's the most important part of the story. She is the ancient... Where the... The Magnum Opus. My life's work... It's of old one to... The Magnum Opus. The place I call... Maybe now I can. Okay, let's see. Is it under characters? No, I'm not sure. Locations now. Yeah, I don't know. Well, basically, this is the car that he has been building. He's kind of like a... Um, he, he's, he, he seems to be like a prophet, and he's been waiting to have this meeting with Max, so he's been making this car during this time. And so the game... <clears throat> the game has a lot of driving to it. It's a lot of driving, but it's open world, so it's not like linear... Um, story uh, mission video games um, you can go wherever you want and do whatever you want but there is a mission story path so you do have to like eventually go down this road to um, to finish the game and which is based off missions but you are able to free roam uh, wherever you want whenever you want which is really nice Empty. It's just, it's such a special game. It's just massive. I don't know if the map is full right now. I want to show the map uh, here in a second. I, I'm just gonna wait because I don't want to. I don't want to click on it if it's not the full Whoever map yet. Here is long gone now. Long with anything of use. There's fuel all around. Keep your eyes peeled. So you have to scavenge for the scrap metal. Scrap metal is like a currency, like I said, and then uh, gasoline and. Um, She's out of gas. There is little history relics, which you'll find all over. And they're basically just like images of the past. Which are really cool because it kind of leads to like the story and how the world got to this place. The, the combat is really nice. It's actually a, uh, a Warner Brothers video game. Um... So it, it kind of has. I'm not a. I haven't played the Batman series, but I know that it's under the same company. Um, and as far as I know, the combat is quite similar. Uh, but the combat's great, and but you also get a gun. Full can. Max's uh, special d uh, shotgun. His sawed-off shotgun. Fill her up, huh? all the way to the brim. And there's, there's going to be character customizations, there's going to be character upgrades, um, skill attributes, things like that. There's a lot to this game. It's pretty simple right now, but they're kind of just teaching you. They're just giving you like a like a tutorial at this point, so it'll get started. You can carry an extra gas can with you, that, that way if you run out, you have one with you.
So right now, basically what we're doing is we're going to this place called the Graveyard, and Chum Bucket knows of a car bodies there. So we're basically going to get a car body to um, frame this uh, magnum opus. And you get to pick your own car body. That'll come up here in a second. Nobody around. Their gate unguarded. The gasoline sink. Huh? One blast should split it wide open. So let's make this one count. She's cracked open. We must hurry. The wardens of this place murder on sight. The fiends that tend this catacomb don't like strangers. No! There's dangling mad killers everywhere. Tread careful. Traps are hit. This game is just gorgeous. I love the graphics in this game. The world is, is very beautiful. Once you get out, I'll start to show a little bit more of the site. It's really, really pretty. So those are the car bodies that you get to pick. Get the car in place down here. I'll lower the body onto it. Something here. Uh, maybe I could zip down this. Flashlight. In. Still works too. Got the furnace, shovel face, wild hunt, death rattle, die rolla. I see. I love these original, these first car bodies. I like the furnace. I like the shovel face, and I like the wild hunt. But I have used them so many times in this game. I don't know. It's hard. It's. I just, I really just don't like these curved bodies. That one looks most similar to Max's original car, I would say, his Interceptor. I think, I think we'll do that. We'll do the Wild Hunt.
shoot for the fuel tank! Bucket calls it the magnum opus. It's not much of a car now, but it has potential. We found a body, but more work is needed before it's battle ready. Oh, oh, praise be! We're alive and free of the graveyard! Oh, oh, wait! Something's loose! I can fix it now if you stop, or later at my sanctum. It's your choice. Get out and this there is really cool, it. too. So while you're on the go, he is a he's always going to ride with you he's just like your like standby mechanic so he's always going to be riding in the back of your car and whenever you are get into a combat you get into a fight you can stop off the side of the road and he'll just jump onto the hood and start fixing the car um there are upgrades so eventually he'll start to repair it faster and faster a lot of that will be shown here in a minute Let's see how beautiful this game is. I mean, look at the sky, look at the moon. This game is just gorgeous. I love this. It's so pretty. Yeah, I like that car body. That's a nice looking car body. to be useful in battle. How so? Why, we could use it to defeat enemies, rip off doors, even wheels. So, we got all we need? Just junk and parts. Ah, yeah, but the jag tip, it's, it's not here. See, it's, it's not, it's not here at all. <laughs> yeah, it's in my bunk. For, uh, it's just there for, uh, safe, safe keeping. See? the jag tip. Okay, so here we go. We got some upgrades and customizations. So this section of the pause menu is called the garage. It says, welcome to the garage. This is where the magnum opus will be constructed and customized. So you have different categories. I'll go through these here in a second. Um, the harpoon category is marked with the mission objective. Go there now to install the base harpoon. Max has collected the jag tip and enough scrap to install the base harpoon. Max also has enough scrap to install a ramming grill. So 
So I just want to go through this. They're going to go through it as the game progresses, but let's just go through this now. So you get a ramming grill. Um, basically, it's just uh, when you ram into somebody on head-on, this is, gives you extra damage and also protects your car from damage. Armor is just a simple, just base body armor. Um, it's just obvious it protects the vehicle from impact damage, um, but at the cost of adding significant weight, which can affect the vehicle's handling and performance. So you kind of have to balance out how much weight you have, armor you have, compared to how fast you want your car to be. So if you want to be a little bit more evasive, um, you're going to want to be lighter. And then the engine, improving the engine increases the vehicle's acceleration. There are two types of engines, the standard V6 and the coveted V8. Exhaust improves the exhaust system and piping configuration, increases the vehicle's top speed. The tires, there are a few different road surfaces out there in the wasteland. Having the right tire improves the handling of the vehicle considerably. So there is pavement um, in some parts of the map. There's a lot of sand, um, mostly sand and just dirt. But when you drive on certain terrains with certain tires, you become very, very slow. So that does make a difference. The suspension, inc increasing the suspension height, will it improves the vehicle's ability to navigate rocky environments as well as avoid damage to the undercarriage. Um, the boost is a turbo boost. It can significantly increase impact damage when used while ramming enemy vehicles and structures. The rims, you can add a little bit of spike strips type of, type of a concept to the rims. Adding rims to the tires increase, introduces the ability to deliver grinding damage to enemy vehicles. So when you're sliding up against a car like you saw where they had that ram ability, um, that will help to increase the damage when you're doing that. Border spikes. Jumpers can be a real nuisance, especially in large numbers. Border spikes prevent them from successfully boarding the vehicle. Some of the enemies in the game will actually try to jump on your vehicle while they come up on the side of you, and then they'll try to uh, damage Max while he's driving. I'm going to stop there just because there's a little bit, there's some of the more of the stuff I want to show just as the time goes on, especially the um, decals and stuff. So. You'll need nitrous. I know how, but... We just get him. It'll be easy with the hub. Yes, but first, Scrotus war boys are out there. And if we don't weaken their numbers, why, it'll mean the end of you, me, and the magnum opus. All right, let's do it. See those metal monsters? Scrotus war boys put them up to mark their turf. Bring them down for good. Ramming could damage our front, but it should work. As, as I play, I'm going to slowly start to chip in on the amount of camps and stuff that there is. Because I do want to play this game and show as much as I possibly can, especially when it comes to history relics. It's just really nice to get a good backstory of the, um, of the game, especially if you haven't seen the movies. Like this camp right up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one.
So once you get the 100% looted, it's just, you can leave it. There's really nothing else to get there. In some cases, there will be um, a water source. And you can continually go back to the water source uh, whenever you need it, and it'll refill gradually. So this is the harpoon, it's a really, really cool weapon. You shoot it, it attaches to something, and then you'll just pull it with the vehicle. The weight of the vehicle will pull down or um, basically break whatever you attach to. Scout it out. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> to see if they've nasty surprises and wait for the righteous. What's the purpose of these camps? Oh, the crew pumped from the very crown and sent in convoys to be refined and gasolined in gas time. So just like in the movie, um, it's kind of a classic where Max, basically what he does is he's very um, sneaky and he's very sly. So he'll be around certain areas that people really won't know that he's there. He'll sit up on the hilltops and stuff and he'll scout certain areas um, just as a, a tactic, a little technique Whoa, to cry. be prepared for what fight he might be getting into. Um, basically what this what this feature is in the game is you can scout out these camps I am gonna break open the map just here in a second so I can show what this actually looks like from the map view gates defended sniper out front that's all What's your spy, Saint? Camp is light defenses. I'll deal with them before entering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, nothing our sweet magnum opus cannot handle. So it actually won't let us access the map right now, and that's fine. I, 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 that's why I kind of wanted to wait. I wanted to wait until they unlock the entire map so that way we can see it in total. It's a really, really big map. There's a lot to do in this game. They basically just knock down the perimeter defenses. Um, there is there is a concept where, when the camp is alerted that you're there, if you don't if you don't eliminate the perimeter defenses before you get inside, um, the war crier, that guy that sits sitting up there, we'll see him in a second. Um, he'll be alerted, and then he basically gives the camp a buff, a fight, a power buff, a defense, or a fighting buff. That's a war crier. 
So it's best to just eliminate them as fast as you can. Here, here, so go ahead and says, when getting close to a war crier, he will, he will become alerted. If the alert meter becomes full, the nearby fighters will become buffed, making them more dangerous. So I always just like to take them out. So here's one of the first history relics. Um, it's it's generally it's pictures or it's notes or something of that nature. Will I? Will I ever come back? So that that was Max's uh, wife and daughter before everything went crazy. Um, it was a picture that was in his car, and this is where they brought the car to be scrapped. So that was really noisy for me, but um, that was the sandstorm. I'm surprised we saw one this early. Um, basically, the sandstorms will come in. Um, they will make a bunch of scrap metal fly around. It's dangerous to be out inside of it. And then also, these little uh, like lightning storms will appear in the sandstorm. And they can damage your car very, very badly. And uh, you generally have to find cover when you're dealing with sandstorms. Uh, these logos are the Scrotus, uh, Scabra Scrotus, uh, Insignias, and it basically just represents that, you know, it's his, his power, so when, whenever you're in these camps, the Insignias will also be something to destroy. Um, generally in the camps, there will be scrap metal, Insignias, history relics, and, uh, supply parts, and I, I don't want to get into the supply parts yet, um, We'll definitely touch on that later when that time comes. It's a little bit too much to discuss right now. There was a, a ladder over here I wanted to go first because I don't I don't remember this uh, location. I want to check the top ladder first before I go into the other area. Just to make sure we're not leaving anything. 
I, li I like to do completion, so I like to complete the camps. I like to get all the ammo, all the scrap metal. It just helps out down the road. Um, the more scrap metal you have, the better you become because the stronger your car is, the stronger Max becomes. It's just very beneficial to have all the scrap you can get. So my apologies for going up that or going down the way first. The areas are pretty complex. There's a lot of these like cave systems. Um, a lot of the stuff is built into the sand just because it was it's easier to survive down in here than it is out in in the sun. Um, what do you want? Time has built to this, Wanderer. Your path, however crooked, has led you straight to here. Our work, yours and mine, must soon commence. Come find me when your spirit is ready. He'll be explained soon enough. I'm not going to get into his, his whole deal right now. So this is called Fury Mode. Max will build up Fury when he's engaged in ground combat. When enough Fury has been accumulated, Max will enter Fury Mode in which all his strikes will become more powerful. Max will remain in Fury Mode for a limited time or until all um, nearby enemies are defeated. So this is fury mode right here. the different scrap pieces and all that out of the way and then we'll complete the cam There's two more pieces of scrub. I'm just gonna wait on those because I don't know where those are at. So this is the indication that you destroyed one of the camps that they have out here. They're generally oil pumps or oil transfer stations. Um, anything you can do to break down Scrotus's uh, gas town operation is going to basically just overtake the area. It just makes him less powerful, and then it gets you closer to um, ba basically redemption, I think would be the best explanation. So there's two more scrap pieces. I am going to check for them, but for the YouTube videos, I'm not going to... Watch the tunnels. I'm not going to go 100% completion. I already did that uh, just recently. I did it about two months ago. Um, it'll just take too much time, and some of the searching for like one piece of scrap metal will be a little tedious. What I do want to do in all of these videos is I want to make sure that I hit every single history relic. Because to me, the history relics are a little bit more important than the scrap metal for the YouTube videos. And that's just because I want to, like I said, I want to be able to show people um, this story. I want to be able to show people the story of Mad Max. Um, if, if people haven't seen the movie, or the movies, um, then the game will start to make a lot more sense as you see the history relics.
Okay, we came through here. So, uh, so like I said, the scrap metal I'm not going to worry about. I will be focusing on history relics. I will be focusing on um, uh, the supply pieces. Those are very important, and I'll show you the why whenever we get to that point. Now to begin my work. There's something needs doing before we turn back. But but we've got all we need. Why stall our work on the magnum opus? It's not for you to understand. I see. You have your secret reasons. <laughs> I'll follow you, because I think fate favors old chum. Solo, please, then take this flare, and when you need old Tom, point skywards and fire. Stay with the car. I do this alone. Well, never mind, old Chum Bucket. Chum Bucket. Never mind. Never mind the old black finger and his sacred quest. of a ruined past. You say you seek the plains of silence, but do you not wander them right now? The remains of your life, a perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day, the plains of silence end and you begin. You have a purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. Look behind you, at June after June of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You flee them always, these past phantoms, and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you damned go yourself. And lay bare your true promise. So this is the section where Max individually gets upgraded. These are his special skills. Um, I'm just going to go through them really quickly here. So longevity, it increases Max's ability to take more damage by increasing his maximum health. So it's a uh, health booster. Metabolism increases Max's ability to gain more health from food. So every time you eat food, you're going to gain more health. Judgment, use a token to increase Max's legend level by one. Essence, increase Max's ability to acquire more water from water sources. Volition is increase Max's ability to acquire more scrap when looting. Adap ad adaptation increases Max's ability to consume less fuel while driving vehicles. Attunement increases Max's ability to deliver more damage when using a melee weapon. Channeling increases Max's ability to remain in fury mode longer. Munition increases Max's ability to acquire more ammo when looting. And intuition increases Max's ability to use a melee weapon longer before it breaks. So I love having obviously more maximum health. I think finding more scrap metal is really good early on. Ammo is very helpful. Legend level will be good. And then let's do water. So the just just right here where we have a little break. The thing with Max is he's haunted by his past. Um, in the movies, there is some really bad things that happen to him and just the world around him. 
Um, so he has a really rough past and he battles with that past. Um, and so in this game, there's a constant battle between him remembering who he once was, but then also trying to forget who he once was so he can learn Spotters. to survive better in this world. That's trouble. And it's a really cool story, and like I said, if, if anybody that watches this haven't, hasn't seen the films, it's just highly recommended. The films are no, really, really good. So sometimes Chum Bucket will uh, leave the area if he feels it's unsafe, and you have a flare gun you can signal to uh, get him to come back to you. Any trouble? I saw bad guys, huh? Sneaking, spying, wanting to steal her away from us. I had to put her somewhere safe. No time to waste that. We've a car to build. Yes, yes, yes we do. Oh, we've done righteous work, Saint. We have what we need to install the nitrous boost. Okay, so... Here we're going to get the Nitrous Boost upgrade. It's just the first level. Nitro done yet? Oh, oh yes, yes, uh, Nitro installed. Now, let's baptize her and roll the holy sled. I know just the place. That's, That's the nitrous Whoa. boost. Chum bucket engineering, huh? Praise be! Bulletproof! Here, aim for the edge and boost across it! Ha ha! She soars! Ha ha! I knew she could make it! A spotter! We must silence them before they call their friends! So, those are pretty good story missions, um, I'm gonna have to look at the time, I don't know how long this video is running, but I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna let him repair... Yeah, okay, so here, we got a good stopping point. So, Max upgrade menu has now been unlocked and is available in the pause menu. Here, you can upgrade Max's equipment, appearance, gain new tools, and fighting skills used in ground combat. New upgrades will become uh, unlocked as Max's Legend Rank. Okay, so that's what the Legend Rank is for. That's actually really valuable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let him repair. Um, and then we're just going to... Uh, well, let's just head back to the Sanctum, actually. Because I don't know... I can't remember what happens when we get back to the Sanctum. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then we'll we'll end the video when we get back to his hideout. Yeah, this will be a good stopping point. The game went ahead and saves. It does auto save as you play. I'm just gonna go through Max's upgrades real quick. So he can get knuckle dusters. These are basically like um, <laughs> wasteland uh, brass knuckles. None of them are available to be unlocked right now. He will get a jacket. I'm going to go ahead and just grab that jacket right now. Oh no, he already... He already is wearing... Is that right? That's kind of weird. Oh, so no jacket, scav, skinny. Okay, so, that, so he is wearing a quote-unquote jacket. If not, he would be not wearing the long sleeve t-shirt. Um, let's see, so wrist armor. These are just basically like bracers that you can wear. They'll go on your wrists here. Ammo belt will basically just give you increases for maximum shotgun shells. 
you can change his look. It'll be his face as, as the time goes on. You can upgrade the shotgun. You can add fighting skills. This is very helpful. Um, as time goes on, you'll just have different moves and different um, things that you can do in ground combat. So the chain finisher. Let's just go ahead and unlock these as we go. And then weapon parry. We'll go ahead and just get that as well. And then also tools. So he's got his binoculars, his canteen. Let's go ahead and just get the jimmy bar. He's got the flashlight, pliers, and a flare gun. So that's about where we're at right now. There is going to be constant upgrades for the vehicle as well. I'm not going to get into too much of that right now. I am going to end the video here. Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm going to consistently play this one. I've had a lot of fun playing this game, and I think a lot of people will enjoy this game as well. Um, I think it kind of went under the radar just because it is a movie game. But for anybody that is a fanboy of the movies, this game is just incredible. It's 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 a really, really good film game. So they did a great job. I'm just going to go ahead and get it saved up. Since we just did those upgrades. And like I said, I will upgrade and do this. I'm going to do this game consistently. I'm going to get this game a lot of attention. I'm going to play it very consistently. Um, I think tomorrow night I'm going to do Farm Together, another episode of Farm Together. I wanted to do that in weekly sequence, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just start chipping away at some of these games. Uh, Smite is not going to be my focal point. I will play Smite just a couple matches, but sometimes I'm just going to play Smite and I'm not actually going to record. Um, just because Smite is pretty much the same thing all the time. I love games like this where you get... A good storyline, very good cutscenes. It's just a lot of fun to be able to play a game like this and to be able to show people just how great this game is. So I'm going to end it there. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to release it as soon as I can.